In the recent Year 11 mock exam, I set what I thought was quite a simple or accessible question that most people would be able to do, and that was just to calculate the length of a belt. We had two equal sized pulleys, you knew the radius of each pulley, which was the same for each one, and you knew the distance between centres, that distance there. Um, it created quite a few problems for people. Uh, I guess some were just um, confusing uh, radius for diameter, but in some cases people just just didn't have a clue basically. Um, so I'll run through the question now uh, with some different numbers. I can't remember what the actual numbers were in the question but it's the same principle. So let's just draw, let's assume that they are equal size and we know the centres so let's just draw some centre lines and we know the distance between the centres so let's in our case, just say that's 500 millimetres, and let's say that we know the radius to be, say, 50 millimetres, and then so there's going to be a belt that's going to go all the way around here. And my question, I thought was quite straightforward, was what size belt do you need to wrap all the way around there? Um, Cause a lot of problems, so let's just do this quickly. Uh, first of all, you just need to calculate the circumference of a circle. You only need to do it once because half the um, half of this um, pulley is going to be uh, part of the belt length. Half of this is. So if we calculate the circumference of one circle, we are including this half and this half and then we just need to add this top bit of the belt and this top bit. So to calculate the circumference of a circle that's going to be simply pi times the diameter. Okay, now we know that but we know a radius here so it's going to be pi 2 times the radius which is going to be pi times 2 times 50 in other words, 3.14 times 2 times 50 is 100, so that's going to be 314 millimetres. That's the circumference, this bit and this bit. And then because this bottom bit is 500, this top bit must also be 500 as well. So 2 times 500 equals 1000. And then, so that, that's 1,000 millimetres, 1,000 plus 314, 1,000 plus 314 equals 1,314 millimetres. That's the answer. Now, um, so as I say, lots of people got it wrong. Um, uh, without looking at your answers, there, there, there were lots of different mistakes. I think probably the most common one was people were confusing uh, diameter and radius. Um, some people were making other bizarre sort of calculations. You were maybe sometimes going from there to there. I see, the question, read the question. The question said distance between centres. This is the centre. This is the centre. So that is the distance between centres. OK, um, we will go through the exam papers at some point, but I just, you know, I've, it's, it's just bugging me that people can't do what I thought was a simple one, so um, hence I'm posting this video. OK.